Designer Lisa Salzer crafts unique pieces for her jewelry line, Lulu Frost. I myself went on an amazing road trip this summer. Drove 3,000 miles through Montana and Washington and just the heart of the American West. And my whole concept is always kind of a, a vintage elegance. I use a lot of deco and Victorian, but I wanted to kind of fuse it together with the Native American feel, like a traveling feel, a little bit of the West. So we kind of made this hybrid of amazing deco from the 20s and 30s, coupled with vintage Native American pieces like uh, turquoise concho belts, and we used a lot of natural elements like porcupine quills, bone, suede, to kind of achieve this madman on a journey through the West feel. This is an amazing band. They're good friends of mine, and I just treasure their presence here. They're wonderful. It's called Storms and they give me the sense of like a traveling kind of a feel in the country, so I asked them to perform and they were pleased to do so and I'm so happy to have them here. I love vintage. My grandmother was in the antique jewelry business, so I kind of grew up around antique pieces, so I like to give them a fresh feel. We wanted to do some special pieces like this amazing headdress as a centerpiece, you know, to kind of bring out that theme. It's a princess, but is she a Native American princess or just kind of a 50s sort of a princess? Um, it was a great chance to expand a little bit into belts and headpieces, you know, just for the show, but who knows, maybe we'll go down there in the future. So this is our model, Christy, and she's wearing a really great piece because it really represents the hybrid of the Native American style and this kind of Grace Kelly aesthetic. You have this kind of classic bone breastplate structure that we created these crystal um, sort of holders for that, and then it has this nice pearl back, which is such a classic Jackie O or Grace Kelly, you know, just the three strand of pearls. So how, how to make it kind of come together, I, I just mil mixed them all in one big necklace and added these great deco pins. I also love her earrings, it's these amazing porcupine quills that I was mentioning, coupled with the vintage deco dress clip piece from the, the 20s and 30s. And then we have this great crystal element which is repeated throughout the collection. We're sort of known for our plaza hotel room numbers and we wanted to give all the girls their you know, run of show number using our staple which is the plazas. I got very, very lucky um, finding these numbers about five years ago, in 2005. I came across buckets of the room numbers that were being actually thrown away from the plaza. And I thought, this is really interesting. It's so personal and, you know, people really can relate to a number, whatever culture they're in. And that's why I think they've become such a success for me. So we just keep, you know, reincarnating them in different versions and different styles. I made this yesterday. It happened in like 20 minutes, which is the fastest it could ever be. It just was meant to be, I think. Um, it's just a real hybrid of everything that I have. This is a Victorian chain, um, Bakelite dress clips, fool's gold, which is a big element in this collection. Um, very Western, you know, very kind of journey-ish. Um, this great deco centerpiece, some Victorian cut steel, apple juice Bakelite from the 40s. So it's all about mixing different decades and then you have something that feels modern to me. It's never just in the 20s or the 1890s or the 1960s, it's a mix of all of them.